It said, Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created, till iniquity was found in thee. So when Satan got proud, that's when it was found. And when he wouldn't bow down to Adam, he got proud. And that was the pride is, is what caused him to be expelled and, you know, caused him to become what he is to this day. So the question was... The question was, uh, like, do Satan think he's going to win this fight with God? Like, like he's using men to try to open back the... Uh, open up portals to get back to heaven, right? Like, trying to build... Right, okay, cool. So right. you think he's going to win? So check it out. For one, yeah, he was deceived when pride rose up in him, that iniquity, right? All right, so now go to uh, um, verse 12. He said, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken, this, weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. Yet, okay, so this is basically, this is Satan's M.O., because he rose up against um Adam and and against the Most High because the Most High was like worship my image, you know you worship me, this is my image, that's me. I need all y'all to bow down and, and and worship him like that's me, that's my son. So worship him, and Satan was like no, that's not going down, and and then he then I think in the book of Adam and Eve he said uh. What he said, uh, matter of fact, no, in, in uh, Ezekiel 15, thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. But by the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled, thee, filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of the Most High, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherubim, Cherubim, cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. The stones of fire as the angels. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. So he start tripping off the how he how how he was, his wisdom, and his his um and his beauty. So. That's like the carnal nature, too. That's why everybody that act like that, that is the son of perdition, to where your your soul is lifted up. You, you look at yourself, see, and you, you separate yourself from the most high, and you look at yourself and your mind, your will, your emotions, and your body. All that encompasses yourself and your soul. And um, he started tripping. He, he automatically became, you know, a psychopath. And um, so Satan is, is, the reason why he's such a good deceiver is because he really believed it. Like, if he didn't believe it, he wouldn't be able to sell it. It's just like... Uh, TV ads and everything like the 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 thing that make you want to buy stuff if you see that how they control the, the the masses is because they get you to believe a lie and if you and and so and that's deep when they said he's the uh, a liar from the beginning and the father of it you know a liar is a deceiver so in order for him to deceive us he got to lie so he got to be deceived. Because he going against the Most High, so I would say he definitely think that just like in Isaiah, Isaiah fourteen, yeah, it says, "For thou hast said in thine heart." This is what he said. This is what he said in his mind. He said this to himself. 
I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the star, above the angels of the Most High. I'm going to uh, exalt the throne. It says cover that is thrown as as canopy seat stool. So that's authority. So he's going to exalt his authority over the Most High's authority. He says, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. So I'm not only going to sit in the authority, but I'm going to take control of all his creation. They're going to be under my rule. He says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. So now this is his mentality on the earth. And you see it in every human that he's inhabited. Nimrod, that was the first thing he did was join everybody together, created a stargate, and tried to attack the Most High. And in all the other nations, they all had false gods, and they all worshipped not the, the power of heaven, and they was all against the Most High because of the spirit of Lucifer that's been ruling down throughout the ages, and all these leaders, Satan been walking the earth, and all these people trying to get all the creation together to attack the Most High. And the only way that he could play everybody like that is because he believed that. Hey, Rum. Yeah. Is that the same spirit as the spirit of Antichrist? Yeah. It is. That's why he said the spirit of iniquity does already work. It was working in the government of Rome. He said, and I saw, and behold, it was a red, a, a red dragon or something having seven heads and ten horns. And he said the dragon was wroth with the woman, which was Israel, and went to, de, to, to devour her seed, which was Christ. So what, what went to devour the seed when it was born is when when they, uh, not just the Romans, when, when Herod, see, and that was all, see, Herod was down with the Romans. He was like, uh, uh, he was uh, put up in there by the Romans because when the Romans, they, the only reason they allowed the Israel to have a government was because they controlled the government. They had their people in key, key places running things. So they were still, they was conquered, but they was just under Rome. Rome gave them a little place. They had a little territory. They had their little money. They had their little army. You know, when 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 Rome took them down, they had about their army. They had, they had about thirteen thousand men. You know, so yeah, that's definitely the same spirit. Yeah, when he said fourteen, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. He said this is what he said to himself. So he was definitely, he deceived himself. He really believed that. And then he said, anything is possible to them that believe. And also, in Genesis, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men had built. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one. Now check that out. These people that came together like, they all together, and they ain't feeling me. Like, they trying to bring it up here. Deep. He says, and they, are, they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now that they done understood this, because the angel, Satan, Lucifer, then revealed this thing and united a kingdom against me, he says, um... And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. He says, to plan, usually in a bad sense. So they all got together, and the whole thing is the Most High set up the system, and all of the Most High, the angels, his whole posse, but all the angels fulfilling and manifesting all the elements of all that stuff is in order and working together as one system under the Most High. 
So now Satan, he done got up in this joint. It's just like the Matrix when uh, Asian Smith was just going around, sticking his hand in people's chest, turning everything black, turning everybody into his image, and then he re he redid the whole face of the Matrix after his image. And that's basically what, what Satan did. He got this whole thing set up after his image. So when the scriptures tell us to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we might prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of the Most High, that's why we got to do that. Or we're going to get conformed, we're going to get caught up in the matrix and turned into Angel Smith. Yeah, so he says, this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down and bear confound their language. So it says, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. To go to, let us go down and confound their, let's mix their language up. Let's break up their unity. That they might not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore, the name of it is called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence the Lord did scatter them abroad upon all the face of the earth. Now, now we back, because uh, like under CERN, uh, CERN is all the nations of the earth working together, and all the nations of the earth are working together since they made contact with these demons in the 50s. When they had, they had some kind of breakthrough, some kind of contact with these demons, and the demons been giving them technology and stuff ever since. And now that's why in the last 50 years, technology then moved almost like thousands of years in, in uh, 50 years or 60 years. Because, like, back back before the 50s, all the way back to the 1700s, technology wasn't moving like that fast. It was taking hundreds and thousands of years or, you know, a lot of time for, you know, to go from the, the Stone Age to the, to the uh, Bronze Age to the Iron Age to where we at now. It's just like in Daniel when it says um, many shall go to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Right now, he then gave them the technology to open up a portal between the dimensions. He then gave them, they got their Tower of Babel built now. He, he got them believing and he believed that he going to do that. He ain't just like, uh, like, look, I know this ain't going to win, but you know. Let me just do what I gotta do. I'm gonna be jacked up anyway. No, he's going. He really believe it. That's why his judgment is gonna be so hardcore. Because he really is bringing it against the Most High's creation, and ultimately he think he's gonna bring it to the Most High. I said, I hope that makes some sense. I said that gave me a little bit more insight. Yeah, yeah, a lot, man. Cause now I think about it. Basically, his pride, his pride is what, what choked him up. So now he believes like he about to, he about to win this fight. And it, it kind of sheds light on that scripture too, when it says like, "Love not the world," you know, because all, the, pretty much the only thing he's in it is the pride of life and the lust of the eyes. Yeah. So that, when you dealing with that, that's the, that's the character you taking after. You know, that's the char character that you, you take it in. That becomes your God. That's who you listening to. It's just like uh, uh, old, the white boy, uh, what's his name, uh, Bob Dylan. Talking about you got to serve somebody. It may be the devil, <laughs> or it may be the Lord, but you got to serve somebody. You just got to make a choice. Yeah, I've seen that one too. That was crazy. 